Hi, this is Brandon Smilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the low band face pull. This is another face pull option that we have for our athletes that we use to help develop the upper back, the traps, the delts, and overall just some prehab and rehab that we can implement. The face pull is a staple exercise in our training programs. I think most of our athletes and clients and parents know that, but we also have to figure out ways to make sure that we can provide some different planes of pull and some stimulation, and also just be able to provide some variety in uh, programs because you don't want to do the same exercise for years on end. So we just got a band, and we're going to choke it to our rig or our rack that we got access to. Like it says, you're just going to attach it to a low position so you have to pull up, and then we'll talk about some key differences between the low and then obviously the regular one. So, got the band tied here at the bottom. Got my hands uh, facing down towards the ground or pronated. I'm going to step away. I want to make sure I'm in a good position that I'm actually, you know, not too close to where there's not any tension or I'm too far away where I have to cheat. I just want a good where I feel some tug and that's, that's where I want to be. And then what I'm going to do is keep everything neutral and I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to pull up towards my chin, try to keep my elbows as high as I can while I do that, but also try to pull my shoulders back at the same time. So we want to think up and back. Think about starting a lawnmower, but with both arms, and we're going to pull it apart as we pull. So I'm going to be here, here, back. Keep those elbows high. Try not to meet the band. Make the band meet you. And there you go. So. As you'll notice, it's, it's kind of similar to an upright row. However, the primary difference is that the hands are, are a little bit wider, which is good for the shoulder joint. Obviously, you're gonna have to pull against the band, so it's gonna accommodate the strength curve a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult as you go. But you're still gonna be pulling back. So the angle is what's mainly important in this, is we're still pulling back to get the good quality trap and retraction of the scapula while we're doing that. We're not coming up this way where this is going to cause more impingement, where I'm pulling, I'm pulling back and I'm getting more uh, trap and mid-trap exercise to pull that back. What I really like for this is that it, it, it teaches our athletes to put some meat on their back. They're going to feel it in their traps a little more. We also get some more actual delt recruitment because we do have to pull up. We do have to, you know, pull the arm away from the midline. So we're going to, we are going to get more delt work here, absolutely. It's also a progression, so it's a little bit harder. Um, but just know that I personally think it feels good. I love doing this as a finisher for myself on some of my upper body days. Um, just know that it's another option for your pull apart or your face pulls or your upper back prehab stuff that you have access to. Just change the angle, but understand the, the limitations that you might have or why it's better in some cases for some athletes than, than not. Three, four, five sets, 10, 15, 20 reps. Um, like I said, this is a prehab exercise. You don't have to go crazy with it. Upgrade the bands if you want to, decrease the bands, play around with it, have fun with it, but just use this as a, another option for you. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.